Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Yet another unboxing and initial impressions video. As you can tell, I'm really playing around with audio just to get some um, some options, see what type of versatility we can get. Uh, we just did the introduction of this Neewer boom arm mic, and you could see that in the previous video. What I got here is, and this was why I bought the um, uh, XLR cable I just showed you too, because I needed an XLR cable. This is the Pile Pro PDMI C58. Pile Pro PDMI C58, um, professional moving coil, dynamic handheld microphone. Now, I probably won't use this a lot on Art of the Image, the videos I did with you guys here, um, so you might not see it a lot. But what I wanted it for was some other channels where I wanted I'm doing uh, playing around some stand up um, and playing around even on my children's channel, Pumpernickel Park. Um, I like to be able to stand and have a handheld microphone, which this one is not really meant for it's a studio mic that screws into some type of mount um, whereas this is a handheld microphone let's get it open here for you pull out my leatherman trusty pocket tool i love this thing if you guys need a good pocket tool leatherman scissors got a knife blade on it got a screwdriver blade and then it'll clip onto your belt loop or just fit in your pocket. I put it in a small pocket in my pants. Love it. Um, I'll put a link if I can find that on Amazon. I don't know if I bought that on Amazon, but I'll see if I can put a link for you. Anyways, I digress. So we've opened the, here's the box, the pile box. And open it further here. Oh, it come with, I forgot that. It comes with a mic cable. Not a bad looking one either. So this is um, XLR to quarter inch now i'm not going to use this cable because i'm running this into my zoom h4 for audio so this cable we won't be using right now what we will be doing is getting the mic out so here's the pile mic and oh, this unscrews i wonder if that's supposed to unscrew all the way or how this works let's have a look and see no it must have just been a little bit loose from shipping um, because it doesn't look like it should be really coming apart. It's not meant to, um, in the sense of you might break it. It doesn't feel like it wanted to come apart. Now, I thought this did have an on-off switch, and it did. It doesn't from what I see here. So you might want to be aware of that. If you're looking for a handheld with an on-off switch, this is not your guy. Um, but what I do want to tell you is this was very highly rated on Amazon. Again, I'll put the link below so you can check it out. Um, this one cost me... I think it was 14 bucks, um, maybe 15. Now, the MSRP on it was much higher, and people were comparing this to a Sure 58, I think it was. And the reviews, a lot of people, people were saying, you know, I've been in the industry for 20, 30 years, and these things for the price are 90% of the quality of like a $2,000 mic. So I thought, well, hey, that's a pretty solid review. And there's quite a few reviews on there. It wasn't just one person saying that. Um, so I thought, well, I'm going to try it out especially for 14 bucks list on these on Amazon was I think 50 or 60 might have been I'd have to double check again I'll put the link below you can see for yourself I know that they were considerably cheaper than what the MSRP was because I paid like 14 or 15 bucks for it let's do a mic check for you we'll plug in I have an extra cable here just happen to have an extra cable here Check one, check two. Okay, so we've got we've got the uh, Pile Pro plugged in. We're gonna switch over now. I'm talking into the Pile Pro. I'm gonna check my levels here and see if we're no. It looks like we're good. So this is the Pile Pro, the Pile Pro PDMI C58. Um, so this is the sound of the Pile Pro. And again, this is you know you're doing talking, doing stand up. You want to do you know tell a joke or something like that. Um, this is it. Here's the AT2020, the Audio Technica. Uh, Audio Technica. I always have to check that. I want to say Audio Acoustica. Audio Technica AT2020. That's this one here on the boom arm. Here's the Pile Pro mic. Now, this is a $14 mic I got off Amazon. This is a, what did I pay for this? Close to 100 I think I might have got it on sale for 70 but this is, I think this MSRP is at like 150 or something. I'll put the link for you for this mic below too. But here's the Pile Pro. We're back to the Pile Pro now. What do you think of the sound quality? How is it sounding? Actually, this is my first test of the Pile Pro. I don't even know what it sounds like. When I go back to listen to this, I'll be basically hearing it for the first time when you guys do. So 
this is the Pile Pro, me talking into the Pile Pro here. Um, we'll finish up this video with the Pile Pro. It's kind of cool, you know, you're talking like uh, holding onto a microphone. Um, I'm not going to sing for you because um, uh, some people have told me I'm a terrible singer. I, I think I'm an awesome singer. You should hear me in the shower. Anyways, <laughs> I just thought if anybody's looking for a mic, 14 bucks. This thing had excellent reviews. It was compared to some very high-priced microphones. And this is it. It's the Pile Pro PDMI C58. I'll put a link below on Amazon for you. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon with some new videos, some new articles. We'll keep you up to date with what's going on in the world of photography, videography, and technology right here at ArtOfTheImage.com. Thanks a lot, folks.